God bless the USA. Donald Trump swept the Iowa caucuses, winning from one end of the state to the other and cementing his place as the one to beat in the Republican race for president. The victory in the contest of the 2024 presidential campaign marked a historic comeback for the former president and the official beginning of his goal of ousting President Joe Biden and returning to the White House. We want to thank the great people of Iowa. Thank you. We love you all. What a turnout. What a crowd. And I really think this is time now for everybody, our country, to come together. We want to come together. Uh, whether it's Republican or Democrat or liberal or conservative. It came after two impeachments as Trump faces 91 criminal charges, which seemed only to buoy him in polls and in the eyes of his supporters. From here, I really see it as beginning in Iowa and ending in Kansas. Mar in late March is when, going, when there's going to be the Kansas uh, primary. And about that time, if we keep this up, that's about the time that he'll cross the threshold of winning the convention. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis exceeded expectations, narrowly edging out Nikki Haley, who had surged past him in recent polls. We have a lot of work to do, but I can tell you this, as the next president of the United States, I am going to get the job done for this country. I am not, I am not going to make any excuses, and I guarantee you this, I will not let you down. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank you so much. The tight race for the silver medal leaves the battle to become the alternative to Trump unresolved. But Haley, who's better positioned in the upcoming races in New Hampshire and her home state of South Carolina, claimed a kind of victory. Underestimate me, because that's always fun. I love you, Iowa, but we're on to New Hampshire. Turnout was well below record levels. Temperatures dipping to minus 22 Celsius with wind chills of minus 32 appeared to keep many people at home. There's an old adage that Iowa punches three tickets for candidates to move forward in the race. That seemed to be confirmed on Monday when Vivek Ramaswamy came in a distant fourth and ended his campaign. Thank you very much. The race moves on to New Hampshire next Tuesday, with Trump hoping to gain momentum and the second and third place candidates fighting to remain in the race. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Des Moines, Iowa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.